Hey. Okay, I'm going to try and show you how to use um, this program called Netbus 1.7. It's a it's a Trojan program, right? So um, you want to put it on someone's computer, and once it's in your once it's in their computer, you can control it from your own computer. You can control their computer and do whatever you want to their computer, and they 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 just have to sit there and uh, wonder what's going on. It's a really fun tool. Okay, this is it here, Netbus 1.7 or 170. Um, now. Since it's um since it's a hacking tool and also it's got the the patch in there as well, um it's detectable by antivirus software and I've got pretty good antivirus software so um once I open this it's gonna be detected and deleted from my computer. Let's open it. Now hold on. See, they just deleted the two exe files and there we go. File was automatically deleted. So when you're working with this sort of software, right, what you want to do is um, disable your antivirus. So I'm just going to go down to it here and click Disable Auto Protect. 15 minutes gone. Okay. Um, so since this has all been deleted, I still have the zip file. So I'm going to unzip it again. Hopefully when I go into it, yep. Yeah. See, it's not being deleted by my antivirus because it's obviously my antivirus is disabled. Okay, so basically, this is Netbus. Um, it's an executable file. When you run it, right, um, it asks you to input an IP address of the computer you want to get into. Now you can't put in any IP address, obviously, because you can only put in uh, you can only connect to an IP address of the computer that's been. Um, infected with this thing. This is um, patch.exe. Now you don't want to click on it yourself because if you do, you'll infect yourself. And within minutes, hundreds of hackers will try to be like they'll be rooting through your computer, opening your CD-ROM drive, doing everything, up like, uploading porn onto your onto your computer. So you don't want to do that yourself unless you know how to um, how to stop it from working afterwards by using this. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to open Netbus here. I'll show you how it works. Okay, run. Okay, this is where you put in the IP address, right? Um, you can put in any IP. This is my IP address. Please don't hack it if, if you know how. Okay, um, and I'm gonna try and connect to myself. And uh, it says couldn't connect. So that's because I'm not infected with this patch. Even though it's on my computer, I haven't double clicked on it and I haven't opened it, so uh, I'm not infected with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how it works. So I'm gonna infect myself with the patch. Okay, here's how you do it. When this is on someone's computer, it'll um. It'll just look like this and they'll say, okay, what's this? This is a patch. I wonder what this is for. I'll open it. They open it, click run, and nothing happens. Okay. But they think nothing's happened, but once you go back into Netbus here, and you try and connect to the person, that's uh, this is my IP address, okay? So um, obviously you're not going to put in your own one, you're going to put in the person who's just put, like un installed patch, okay? So I'm going to try and connect to myself there and connect it, okay? Even though it didn't come up saying you've been infected, it's still connected, okay? So here's the stuff that I can do. I can open my CD-ROM drive. Okay, my drive is just opened. I can close it, or I can open it and close it in an interval of 60 seconds, 10 seconds, whatever. So it just keeps opening and closing, and there's nothing the person can do about it. Uh, I can show up an image, like any image on my computer, I can make it come up on their computer. I can swap the mouse buttons. So right now, if I'm clicking the left left mouse, it's actually clicking the right right mouse button. So I'm clicking the left mouse button, tapping, and I click the right right mouse button, and it, it does the the left click. You know, it's, it's the opposite. And I can start up any compr uh, program on the computer, and you can send them a message. Let's say you want to tell them, uh, send them a warning message saying uh, you are gay. You are oops, you are gay. And then, yes, no. And send them the message, you're gay. And then they'll say, oh shit, what the fuck's this? And I'll reply, yes. And then you get the you get the reply back saying yes, so you know what the answer. Or else you can you can get them to write in the message that they want. You're gay. No, I'm not. And then you get the thing, the user answered, no, I'm not. So you can basically talk to them. And you can screen dump, which is like taking a picture. And the picture is saved right here, called temp1. You can get info 
Okay, clients connected to this house, that's one. So I'm not sure if that's me or if that's someone else connected to my computer as well. But uh, hopefully it's just me. Yeah, okay, hopefully. Anyway, um, so yeah, you can send them send them text, any text, and it'll come up on their screen. You can exit Windows. I'm not going to click on that because I'll exit my Windows, which is a bit stupid. You can play any sound in their computer. These are just advanced options for changing the port. Um, you can control their mouse, which is pretty fun. Um, you can just do whatever you want to their mouse. You can go to whatever website you want and make it pop up on their computer. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You can disable, you can um, make it, I think it makes a sound every time you click the button or something like that. You can disable all their keys so they can't type on them. Um, or you can dis just disable one key, like the H key, and then they can't type H until you, you re-enable them. Um, you can look through all their files, which is very cool. You just click show files and all their files come up. You can upload and download anything you want from their, their computer. You can change the volume, all the balance and everything, and you can record from their microphone so you can know what they're doing, okay? You can know you know if they're talking to someone, if there's anyone else in the room, you can do that. Uh, you can also listen to whatever they're typing. Oops. <laughs> My bad. And so you can see whatever they're typing on the computer. And that's pretty cool. Alright, uh, that's basically it. I'm running out of time, so I'll just close this and I'll tell you how to get this onto someone's computer. Since this is sort of detectable by some antivirus software, most antivirus software would detect it, but some 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 antivirus is shit, so it won't detect it. So um, if you want to put it on their computer and you don't want them to be sus uh, suspicious, you can install this thing called Whack-A-Mole, right? So they double click at it, right, like this. They double click, thinking it's a game, and they run it. And as it happens, it's not a game. Well, it is actually a game, but it also installs the 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 what's it called? The fucking the patch into their thing. So they'll be playing the game like this, fucking around. Oh, shit. I mean, it's a pretty shit game, but um, it just looks like nothing really has happened. And go back into Netbus here and connect. Netbus. Type in their IP address, click connect, and it connected. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, now, if you want to disconnect from yourself, you just click close server, and then you, you can now try and connect again, and it says couldn't connect. So uh, you basically have control over whatever you want in their computer, and it's pretty cool. So there are basically like there's two ways of getting in. You can send them the patch file, which is sort of difficult because it's you know it's a bit suspicious why you'd be sending them a file called patch.exe. Um, and then there's this. This is the whack-a-mole thing. Uh, this is sort of less suspicious because it's a game and it secretly installs the thing, so it's not that bad. Um, and so basically, once you have this on your computer. You just need to know their IP address, which is sort of easy. You can get that from using the command prompt, and that's sort of advanced, I wouldn't really do that. Uh, or you can get it from getting them to visit a website that you, well, getting them to visit a web page that you have sort of, you've got an, an, an IP thing on it, so it tells you the IP addresses of all the people that visit it, and then you just wait for them to visit and get their IP address from that. Uh, or else just look up on the internet how to get people's IP addresses, it's really easy. Anyway, that's basically it. Um, hopefully you enjoy this. I'll, set, I'll put in a place where you can download Netbus 1.7, and um, so you can download it the exact same as I have, and you can also download whack -a -Mole. Anyway, I hope I've been helpful. Uh, please leave a, leave a comment, because you know I need comments. And uh, all right, thank you. Bye.